Dick Hartley was born in 1926. He graduated in 1944 and joined the U.S. Army for conclusion of World War II. After war, he was stationed at General Headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. I myself talked to Dick Hartley's son-in-law, Dave Montgomery, and he told me a lot of helpful information. And I had a fun adventure walking throughout the store and learning new things. He told me that while Dick was in Tokyo, General Douglas McCarthy who was in charge of Tokyo, walked beside Dick's desk every day, and Dick ended up bringing back a flag from Tokyo, which is in the store today. Since Southwest Missouri had few opportunities for employment, Dick Hartley decided to leave family and others to go to Chicago in 1950 to work for S.S. Kresge Company. Kresge offered him a seven-day-a-week shift, but he turned it down because he wouldn't do it unless he did it for himself. Then, in 1956, Dick Hartley became a manager with TGNY Variety Store and moved to Midwest City, Oklahoma. That's when Dick met June Spickard, who was also a Springfield native, and they got married in 1959. Dick and June had two kids, Steve and Melissa, in 1960 and 1965. Dick was transferred to Norman, Oklahoma, and then got the desire to have his own five and dime store. So Dick and June thought that would be a good idea and went with it. Dick had always wanted his own business, so he thought the best spot would be Branson, Missouri because it had the most upside potential. Most didn't believe Branson Farm and Dime could be successful, but Dick showed them it could be done. It started out being located on Commercial Street, but when one of his retail competitors taltered, he was able to move the store on Main Street in the early 1970s, where the store is today. That was around the time when Dick started adding collections to stand out in the store. Today, there's around seven different collections. There's old kitchen gadgets, arrowheads, trains, airplanes, Hall of Fame baseball pictures that are signed from different players and more. Dick was always looking for something new, cool, and exciting to bring in customers. And Steve and Dick are doing the same, following in his steps, making the business stand out. What helped Branson, which helped Five and Dime 2 become more popular, was 60 Minutes. They did a story on Branson, Missouri, which brought in more people. Today in the store, there's possibly a million people who visit the store because some things that attract people and tourists want to come to Dick's Five and Dime for is Dick's is a fun place for all ages because Dick always wanted to go above and beyond to stand out. Flat Taffy is one of the biggest sellers in the store. Last year they sold over a thousand sticks and they have a lot of different flavors. Today June, his wife, 82 years old, is still in the business. She handles payroll and cooks lunch for her and Steve, her son, every day. She also has a Bible study at her house every Wednesday and has had it for about 45 years. Something that Dave Montgomery said that you will always need to carry in your pockets while working at Dick's is a pocket knife to cut open boxes, a marker to mark on boxes, and a pencil, not pen because they are always rebracing things. A very interesting thing that stood out to me was that they don't use a computer for pricing things. They put the prices on their items by hand, and you don't find stores these days that don't use computers to remember inventory and prices on objects. Four years ago, on January 8th, Dave, Dick's son-in-law, became a part of the Five and Dime business, which he was a banker for 15 years before that. Also, Steve Hartley was a Dillard's manager, and in 93, he rejoined the family business. On December 9th, 2006, Dick closed up at 9 p.m. for the last time, and that evening passed away at the age of 80. Dick was a fair, honest, caring, but tough and very fun to be around kind of guy. Friends and family miss him, but are glad for his great ideas that brought them in the store today. He will be remembered for years to come.